there's a real problem with being realistic. What I'm going to advocate for here is thinking big, allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to think big. When we maybe we're down, we're not feeling motivated, we're feeling dejected, we tend to look at the way out of that or the answer to that is okay. Well, what can I do there? I can become more realistic and maybe I could achieve that little thing there because my starting position is that I'm not in a great place and I don't feel good about myself. But the the gravity, gravitational pull of, of feeling low and be feeling depressed can be so intense sometimes that that little move away from it into realistic, the problem is it's not strong enough to pull it out of that. So I'm going to advocate for thinking big here. And I know maybe a lot of people watching this will feel that that's kind of cringy. You know, it's, it's such a cliche, like think big, dream big. But my point here is that it's often the only thing that will work in order to give us the fuel that's necessary to get us out of a low state. So thinking big is thinking beyond what's realistic for us. It's thinking about things that seem outside of what you're capable of. Now, we can question the narratives that make it seem un unrealistic. But my point here, this is an invitation for you, just a little reminder, to allow yourself to think big in your life, in every area of your life. Because that really is a dream. It's, it's the motivation, it's the force that pulls us out of that low state, maybe a depression, helplessness, in stuck in procrastination patterns, low motivation, all those things. I'm not even saying that you have to focus on this all the time necessarily, but every now and then look into what is my goal here and having it be a large goal, one that excites us. Now that can be applied to every area of your life. It could even be, what I'm saying doesn't sound very spiritual, right? But why not have that as a spiritual goal? What would it be like if your, your spiritual goal was big, unrealistic for yourself? The egoic mind doesn't like us to think in those terms. It thinks, well, that's too egoic. You can't think like that. But that's kind of what it wants you to think. But it could be in your career. It could be in your work life. It could be in your meaningful goals, your creative work. It could be in your relationships. It could be in your personal health. Any of these things is to think beyond what seems maybe doable or realistic. To push ourselves, to challenge ourselves. Give ourselves permission to think in those terms. And I'm I'm an advocate for any of the things like, you know, you make up like a vision a vision board or um, you journal around these things and you'll know you're on the right track when you start to feel a kind of a, something inside starts to resonate. Maybe the beginnings of something that feels like uh, an, uh, an adrenaline rush, okay? That's kind of what it feels like to get in touch with the truth, actually, when we start to feel more alive. So every now and then, allow yourself to think about what is big for me? What's the, what's, what would thinking big in my life look like for me personally in all these different areas? So I just wanted to make that video because I really... I think there is a lot of stuff out there that is overemphasizes this point too much. But I also see the other part of it where it's like thinking about these worldly goals is somehow non-spiritual. And I don't agree with that. I think this has a role to play in spiritual growth to transcend small limitations for ourselves. So that's an invitation or a reminder to notice when was the last time I thought big in my life and what's stopping me right now from starting to think big in my life